All right, so here's the team. Austin, Emmett. Emmett's on the 6K Pro. I'm on the red Komodo right now. We just got everything set up and we're gonna go out. The first part of the day is just very chill. We're just gonna be like shooting B-roll for the first two or three hours. We'll do some interviews later on. Um, Izzy's doing BTS. And then, exactly, thank you Izzy. And yeah, so, should be a good day. So the event today is a educational program for the client at Shelburne Farms, and it's, a, it's an event, so it's like making an advertisement from this event, which is why the biggest issue is just going to be how bad the rain is, because it's 50-50 right now. So I've been watching the weather pretty much every hour for the last week, and it's looking okay right now. Um, but. It's because it's an event shoot. We're gonna be running around a lot. That should be it. We're about to get started. 9.30 is when everything starts kicking off. But yeah, we're excited. This is the terrifying point in the day where I have to format my card before the shoot. Say a little prayer. 20 clips, footage detected, media, yes. Hope I didn't delete anything. So I took the 6K Pro back from Emmett so that I can get some wider shots of just everything outside. I used to have this camera before I switched to the red and it's just so beautiful. I just want to say it's so lush. But we got the wise lens on this. So rather than switching out, we're in this beautiful location, which is Shelburne Farms. It's, it's just like the beautiful world. Vermont land everywhere. So I gotta go like, I gotta get some detail shots while the conference is going on. There's only so much shooting of a dimly lit room that I can do and make look exciting. So figure I let Emmett just hang out inside and I'll just go outside and cool around for a little bit. Let's see if I can get something of the biker without them knowing. She definitely knew. <laughs> Perfect. Go left. Oh wait. Go left. Yes. Yes. Look, it's like it like the little crosser. There's like a second one that like tells you if it's balanced. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. They didn't have that when I had this camera. <laughs> Sometimes I leave little notes, little messages for the editor while I'm shooting. I'll be like, hey Casey, just so you know, I know it's a little shaky. I'm shooting really telephoto right now. Just throw some warp stabilizer on it and it should be good, sweetie. Bye. I don't even know if he ever sees them, but you know, I like to think he does. All right, successful first part of the day. The weather has been blessing us been overcast which is my ideal situation it's kind of cool though we're hanging out like in Shelburne Farms we like went upstairs to like get some shots of like the courtyard where everybody's talking like, through the window and it's like a really unique perspective like Shelburne Farms is like I think it's like a one or two hundred years old and it's been like a functional farm it's like a historical part of Vermont so it's kind of cool but that's all also I hate to be the one to say it but I just heard thunder did you actually yeah that is not good. <laughs> that is really not good. Just as long as we make it into the interviews. It can, there, I, there can be a tornado outside when we're doing the interviews because they're inside. A monsoon, it doesn't matter to me. A tsunami from Lake Champlain. As long as it is just only during the interviews inside, then we will be okay. All right, so this is, after all, a farm video that's about food education. So. It's lunchtime and all of the all the food is from the farm. So it's only fitting that we get some really good lunch food content. And I low-key have a crazy idea. I'ma see if it works. But I think I'ma cook up on the uh, on the on this shot. It should be pretty cool. So we just had a little bit of a break and I wanted to shoot a little 
DIY video about like a cool slider shot that I was doing as I'm like trying to put out more content on these shoots and also just like in general in life, it's so hard to make sure that you like have enough time and the thing that's like the biggest bottleneck for me is always the editing. Um, so that's one of the reasons why it's super helpful to use shade is that you're able to like go through and make sure that the b-roll is like super quick and you can organize it way quicker than if you were just going in. So I was actually able to just like make a com little content piece because Izzy was shooting some BTS and we just like grabbed some extra stuff. We were able to boom, make proxies, index real quick and then throw it in and it's like, it's super easy. Um, so yeah, time is of the essence. Everybody that works in videography or in the videography world or cinematography world knows that. And, uh, and so that's why you kind of, you have to try to figure out ways to adapt and make things go as quick as possible. And we just like saved an hour. Now I don't have to do that when I get home. Where are we going? We are headed to the interview location. It got rained out, which is just great. My favorite. Um, but we're in a gorgeous place inside, which is going to be totally fine. Um, interviews are a lot of fun because it's all, it's a huge, huge setup. Um, so we're going to do a two camera setup. Um, and we're gonna, we have the key light right now. Emmett is going, hold on. All right, so let's walk through the interview setup right now. So the first thing that we did, if you wanna take a look right here at the monitor, the first thing that we did was decide where we wanted to have the subject, our incredible shooter Emmett to be. Um, so I really like backlighting, um, which gives it that, it's almost like the natural built-in hair light. So if you look on Emmett, it's gonna get him that separation from the background because it's going to be like this rim light or like a hair light naturally because of the windows and it gives you the contrast. The issue is, if we turn off the aperture, you can totally see on the camera that now he's very underexposed. So if you are going to backlight, you have to make sure that you have the ability to key and thing up the key light on your subject significantly and all of a sudden the light source is no longer from the aperture the light source is spread out all the way among the ceiling and the rule with light is the softer the bigger the source is the softer it's going to be and the closer it is to your subject the softer it's going to be as well so then if we look at the camera now we have this really nice soft diffuse light on emmet that you can see within the interview shot as well now we get to have the fun of playing around with some of the elements within the frame, like playing around with stuff like right here. And the other thing that we did that I really liked is that we brought out the chair and we brought out the table and we weren't afraid to get them away from the wall to create that depth in the image. That's another reason that I think that this interview shot looks really good is because we can see all the way through the windows, all the way to the lake. A lot of times when people shoot interviews, they just put the subject against a white wall and then if they're like, why does the interview not look good? And it's because you don't have that same depth that you get when you move the image and when you get your subject really far away. So not only do we have depth from the lake, but we also have depth from Emmett directly to the wall. So it's looking good. Good job, team. So interviews, I really, really like um, because it's, it's, it's totally like its own separate little like specific art. Um, you really just get to play and be creative and no interview shot is going to be the same and you can literally do an interview shot anywhere but it's really fun because you can set up there are all these rules that you want to follow um and once and i used to like have diagrams that i would bring up with on me uh bring with me to shoots um so that i could know and, and there are things that are like okay so you're obviously going to have the character with with two-thirds of the frame in front of them and one-third behind but then also you want to set it up so that they're facing and looking at, at the camera so that the shadowy side of their face is on is, is facing towards the camera because that gives you some really fun contrast and also some depth that you don't necessarily get if you do it a different way. So when you're looking at a location like the one inside, the first thing I do when I sit down is I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, okay, in what ways can I frame so that one, um, the frame is balanced and equal, and that can be changed by placing different objects in the frame. So a small object in the foreground is going to balance out a large object in the background. And so then as you're doing that, you can really look at it and, 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 and think about first, like what are the compositional elements that I want to use? And then also after that, like how am I gonna motivate the light? Because we want the light to look like it's natural and we want it to look like they just plopped down and naturally it just looks beautiful. But in reality, um, we are completely doing the light ourselves. So if I have the camera on one side and then I have the talent looking and interviewing and looking past camera, it will be keying from the side that the windows are at and that way it'll look really natural.
We're done with the interviews. Driving back. We're gonna get like two shots of this ice cream truck that is coming to serve. Um, it's a bunch of kids in an ice cream truck, which is like so cute. Um, but yeah, nearing the end of the day. Anything to add, Izzy? No, it was fun. All right. That's it. Wrap for the day. We finished it up. That should be all. See you guys later. Hey everybody, thank you so much for following along. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Shade's YouTube channel and also follow along on their other social media platforms. We have so much fun stuff coming down the pipe that we're super excited to share with you guys. Make sure to stay creative too. I'll catch you next time. Bye.